Again, folks, this is Wayne Orr back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today. We're looking at the Rolling Stones and Give Me Shelter. So this is a nice capoed up way that you can play it really easy. You're going to only need three chords. I'm going to show you sort of an alternative way that you can play it as well. But this is more suited to beginners. I'm going to show you a few embellishments on the chords, a little sort of lead riff that you can add in there. So you can have some great fun with this. It's an amazing song. So now if you do want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page. So there'll be a link to that in the comments. I'll also put a link in the description. And the way that that works, you just click on the link, sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you want to pledge. I can promise you all the money generally goes back into the lessons. And it gives you guys access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past three years. So there's a lot of content up there. There's some exclusive videos that aren't on YouTube. There's a lot of videos there from the archive. And if you're into some of the technique stuff that I do, the blues lessons or the scales, the stuff to coincide with that as well. So what you're waiting for, link in the comments, link in the description. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. Now, if you are subscribed and you haven't done already, a third way you could help me out is by hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there so you can keep up to date with the videos. And if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media because I'm Wayne Our Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, well, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, for this version, you're going to want the capo up on the 4th fret. Just while we're talking about capos, I'd like to give the G7th Capo Company a quick plug. This is a performance-free model. I've had this for a couple of years now. don't know if you can see that. It's a personalised one. It's got my name sort of inscripted on the top. But what I will say, if you're on the market for a capo, uh, I've also got another one, a Performance 2 model in silver. Uh, you know, the great, light, reliable, strong capos, you know, really easy to use, really easy to put on and off. So if you're on the market for a capo, I'm going to put a link to that in the description if you want to go and check it out. Okay. Right, so uh, I'm going to show you an alternative version of this, but this is the easiest way that you can play it. Okay, and the chords are as follows. So we're just going to want three chords to play this. So we're going to want an A chord, a G chord, and an F major 7 chord. Now I do the F major 7 with the C bass in, so if you've never seen me do that before, just take a regular F major 7, and we're going to move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret and the A string relative to the capo, little pinky 3rd fret and the D, okay? Uh, and now I also play the G chord with my 2nd, 3rd, little pinky 3rd fret top E string, relative to the capo and that leaves my first finger to just add on and off the first fret and the B string to give me this little embellishment going to a G sus4. We also have some nice embellishments that you can do on the A chord, you can do an A sus2 and you can do an A sus4, you know just moving, now I'm doing the A there with my second, third and fourth finger so that's just moving the fourth finger over to the third fret relative to the capo on the B string and then back to the A chord. Okay so if we hear those chords for the intro that in total for the intro, the little lead lick would go around six times. So what we get? See those little embellishments on the F. I take the second finger on and off sometimes, the first finger. So we got the A, A sus two. Okay, so as I said, that's going to go around six times. Now, if you want a little bit of fun with this, or you're jamming with a friend, if you want to do the little lead part at the beginning, you can sort of jam around with these notes. So you could play the third fret relative to the capo on the B string, and the fifth fret, and the same on the top E string. Third fret relative to the capo, fifth fret. So what we get...
Okay, so you can sort of mess around getting that melody with those notes and uh, you know play over the top of that intro. It's sort of great fun if you want to do that. Okay, so uh, that's going to be the intro. As I said, it's the A chord, the G chord, and the F chord. That's going to go around sort of six times, and that's also the chorus as well. So all we do for the verse is just hold on to the A chord. So what we get is A sus two back to the A. A sus four back to the A. Oh, a storm is threatening my very life today. If I don't get some shelter, oh, I'm gonna fade away. The chorus, oh, children, gee, it's just a shot away. Go to the end, just a shot away. A G chord. Seven. Back to the eight. And so on, okay? So that's really the only two parts you need for this song. You just need the verse, which sort of holds on the A chord, and we need the chorus, which is also the same as the intro, which is the A, the G, and the F major seven chord, okay? So an alternative way that you can play this if you want to, it's a little bit more difficult, but you know, it's your choice is if we put the capo on the second fret and then the chords will become a B chord. A and a G. Okay, so I prefer it the other way, you know, with the embellishments and everything, but if you want to, you could also play it that way. Okay, and a strumming pattern I use around those chords, which uh, works quite well, gives the song, you know, a little bit of swing, is a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if you hear that around the chords. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, hope you all dug that, and as I always say, come on, if you don't like that song, you don't like music. One of the Stones classics, that is, a, you know, great sort of rock and roll song, and really easy to play, and it's great to play with friends as well, having a jam if one does the little lead licks and stuff like that, and uh, it's just free chords, so, uh, you know, no brainer, it's absolutely amazing this song, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this lesson. I have done a few other Stones tutorials if you want to go and check those out, but if you have got any other requests for any other Stones songs, or it doesn't even have to be Stones, it can be anything, you know, 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason, so the easiest way to put a request in is obviously comment below the video in the comments, or if you want to find me a personal message over on those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video, you're very welcome to. I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests and I do have to sort of hemp at them a little bit, you know. Some things work, some things don't. I'm sure you'll all appreciate that. But uh, please do keep your requests coming. Don't let that put you off, you know, because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I'll quickly mention it again. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. And a further way you could help me out and yourselves out by keeping up to date with the videos is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. The Patreon page, if you want the chords, lyrics and the strumming pattern to coincide on not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past three years now, or just over, so there's a lot of content up there, so there's a link to that in the comments, I'll also put a link in the description. I've got a super thanks link that's just under the video there, if you'd you know, like to click on that and make a small donation, again, very much appreciated. Um, another way that you could help me out, this doesn't cost you guys a penny, but it helps me out enormously, is uh, I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. I'd really appreciate that. So that just leaves me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, maybe morning, day, night, thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for last and most soon. Take care.